What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and this is your UFC 280 full card predictions. Islam Makachev versus Charles Oliveira, the card of cards. We are so back. Fight week's gonna be amazing. We're gonna be streaming this card. We are back, baby. They thought they could stop us, but we are back. Uh, obviously, I, I heard this card's gonna start pretty early, so seven, I think seven a.m. Basically, like the last Abu Dhabi pay per view card with uh, Glover and Yan. So uh, yeah, so you guys, you know, get ready to wake up early. Wake up! <laughs> but I mean, this card is phenomenal. I, I don't need to hype this card up. Uh, but before we get into this card, uh, obviously go follow me on my Instagram, go follow me on my Twitter. All those, uh, all those links will be down below in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing, and let's talk about some fights. Uh, look, we start with the first fight of the night. Uh, Yamamoto uh, Nishikawa, I think Nishikawa, I think that's how you say his last. Name. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. Versus Magomed Mustafaev. Um, Yamamoto is interesting. He's a good grappler. Um, and I, I like that about him, but against Magomed Musa 5, it's going to be a hard fight for him. He's 19 years old, so he's, I do respect it, but, um, Magomed Musa 5 can wrestle and he can strike pretty well. I've always felt like he's kind of just all right at both though, but his striking is decent. He has really good spinning kicks. He beat Rafael Fiziev. I thought he kind of like... It's a bit of a fluke the way I look at it, but um, anytime Magomed has fought this level of competition, he usually wins. It's when he fights those top 15 guys like Brad Rydell, Kevin Lee, um, I'm trying to think of someone else. Um, who am I? I feel like I'm missing somebody. Yeah, I don't know. I guess those, those are guys that come up to mind is Brad Rydell and Kevin Lee. Um, but yeah, you know, the, that kind of competition he usually loses to. So, Against guys like Yamamoto, I think he wins this. I would have loved to see him fight Renato Mokaino. I remember they were booked a long time ago. That would have been a banger fight. But yeah, I'm going to be rocking with Magomed Mustafa by decision here. I think he could get the KO win, but um, I just think he's going to have better takedown defense and just better striking. I think he's going to win a probably 30-27 decision maybe. But yeah, I'm rocking with Magomed Mustafa here. Uh, next fight, Lena Landsberg versus Carol Rosa. Carol Rosa, she lost her last fight against Sarah McMahon. No shame in that. Sarah McMahon's actually decent. Um, but yeah, I think Carol Rosa should win this fight probably by decision here. Uh, she's just a better fighter overall. I think she just had one little hiccup in her last fight. And Lena Landsberg is not on her level. And I, I think uh, Carol Rosa is going to make quick work of her. She could get a finish here. But I'm rocking. You know, because it's a female fight, I'm going to rock with decision. So, yeah. Just to stay safe. Uh, next fight, Armin Petrosian versus AJ Dobson. AJ Dobson's not that good to me, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I, I've, I've not been that impressed. Um, I know he, he did his thing in the contender series. But Armin uh, Petrosian, if he's not fighting a grappler... Man, he is a good striker, elite, elite striker, and I, I think he could get a knockout here, man. Honestly, um, AJ's not good. He leaves his chin in the air, um, and yeah, he doesn't strike well. He hits hard, I guess, but um, yeah, he's just not a good technical striker. And uh, I'm a rock with the technical striker, but Ar Armin's not. Doesn't necessarily he hasn't gotten a KO in the UFC, but I know he, he kind of the way he fights, he's been fighting like almost like you know staying safe and trying to win a decision. But um, I think he gets the KO here. I'm a, I'm a predicted KO by uh, in the second round again, over AJ Dobson. I just don't think AJ's that good. I just I really don't. Uh, Petrosian has his holes too. He really can't grapple like that. But yeah, it is what it is. Next fight: Abu Karnam Magomedov versus Gadzi Amari, uh, whatever his last name is. Uh, yeah, this guy made. Um, that Borello kid from Brazil, basically the bizarro version of Paulo Costa, look like goddamn fucking Brazilian Khabib. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be rocking with Nurmaga Madoff here. I think he's the better grappler out of the two. He looked really good against Jared Gooden. Probably had... It was him and Randy Brown had awesome performance against, performances against Jared Gooden. Obviously, Gooden ain't anything special, but uh, I'm rocking with Abukar Nurmaga Madoff. Um, obviously, Godzi is going down in weight, but... He might have somewhat of a size advantage uh, coming up here. He will be the taller guy, but I'm rocking with Abu Kar, man. Abu Kar all the way, baby. Um, next fight, Volkan Ozdemir versus Nikita Krylov. Revenge season. Uh, Y'all know I'm a big uh, Volkan Ozdemir fanboy. Uh, I like Volkan. He's my guy. Um, and yeah, man, he did, he did us, the whole world, a big favor when he whooped that guy, Paul Craig. And I'll never forget... I will never forget all the people that said Paul Craig was going to win that fight. You are insane. 
Enjoy hell. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Volkan Ozmir is going to get it back for his guy, Gus. Uh, obviously, Krylov probably coming off with one of the craziest wins of his career over Alexander Gustafsson, knocking him out like that. That was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Volkan should win a decision here. Volkan hasn't gotten a, a knockout in a long time. I think his last knockout was... Uh, it was Alil Latifi, yeah, that's who it was. So, and Vulcan's been winning decisions. So, I think Vulcan, I think he's gonna outstrike him. The leg kicks are gonna be there, um, and yeah, I think he'll just win. And maybe Krylov might shoot for a few takedowns, and they'll get stuffed. So yeah, I'm rocking with Vulcan Ozdemir here. Um, next fight: Muhammad Makaya versus Malcolm Gordon. Um, oh, man, this is. I don't know what to go with. It's either a submission or. I'm going to save second round submission. Maybe club and sub, man. Malcolm Gordon, respect to him. He's gotten two, what, two wins in the UFC, which is nuts. I never thought he'd accomplish that. I thought his last fight, it, he he lucked out. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, I think Muhammad Makaev is just a better grappler than him, a better striker than him, has a better chin. Like, Malcolm Gordon's chin is made out of some type of soft material. I, I can't even describe it. Um, and yeah, I, I gotta rock with Ma Ma Muhammad Makaev, man. Malcolm Gordon, bro. I, I watched the, the Sioux fight again, and dude, it's just so, it's so shameful. It's so shameful. So yeah, I'm rocking with Makaev here by second round sub. Uh, next fight, uh, Mahmoud Murdoch versus, um, Bizarro version of uh, Paulo Costa. Uh, I think he's a Borello or whatever. Uh, I gotta rock with Borello here. Uh, he's just a better grappler, uh, and he's a decent striker. I like, uh, Murdov and, He's a good fighter, but I actually think uh, Burrell's going to get his first submission in the UFC. I know he's been um, he's been getting the back a lot, but he's having a hard time getting the finish. And uh, I think he gets the finish here. I really do. In the second round, submission, same thing like the last one. I think he's going to finish uh, Murdov. And Murdov's a good fighter, and I think he's the better striker out of the two. But the grappling difference between both guys, I think, is going to show here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to rock with Burrell here. Um Next fight, Zubar Tungov versus Lucas Almeida. Lucas Almeida had a uh, an amazing showing in his last fight. I was really, really impressed. But people forget he did get hurt um, in the first part of that fight against Mike Trezon. And yeah, he ended up winning that fight. He he won. But I think Zubar Tungov, man, he great striking. I think when he wrestles, it does hurt his gas tank. And I think that's why he doesn't wrestle as much. But the guy has good striking, uh, really good timing. And yeah, man, I, I think he'll, he'll win this fight. I just think he'll win this fight by decision. And if he can, if he can get some takedowns on Lucas Almeida, man, I think he's in a good spot here. I think wherever this fight goes, Zubar can win this fight. So I'm rocking with Zubar to go off here. Uh, next fight, Bilal Muhammad versus Sean Brady. I, I, I did a breakdown on this, so go check that out. It is coming pretty late, uh, I think on a Friday or a Thursday. Um, yeah, I'm rocking with Sean Brady by third round submission. I know a lot of people have been dissing Sean Brady because of the Michael Chiesa performance, but I think Chiesa is a long, um, first of all, long fighter, and it's just a different style matchup than uh, Bilal. Bilal has shorter arms. I think the boxing is going to be really close. I think the striking exchanges are going to be really close. I think people are going to be surprised how good Brady is going to look against uh, Bilal. And I think he breaks Bilal. I really do think Brady's going to shine um, through the rough. Uh, I, I'm not hating on Bilal Muhammad. Nothing against the guy. But um, I just think uh, Brady's, I think his time is now. And I think he's going to have his showcase performance against uh, Muhammad here. Um, next fight, Kaitlyn Chukagan versus Manon Farah. Kaitlyn Chukagan has held a iron fist over this flyweight division with her yelling and her sidekicks. And her decision, 3027 self. But it ends at fucking Abu Dhabi because Mana Fra is going to kick her to oblivion and gonna teach her what real kickboxing is. So yeah. Um yeah, I'm rocking with Fra here by decision. Uh Caitlin probably is gonna shoot for takedowns, and that's what's gonna save her from a finish loss. But Mana Fra is good everywhere. She looked fucking amazing against Jennifer Maya. I was I was in shock. How good this girl looked like uh, against uh, Jennifer Maya. That was an impressive performance by her. So uh, I'm going to be rocking with Man of Fraud here. Um, next fight, Benil Darius versus Matsu Gamra. You guys already know I'm rocking with Benny all day. Uh, go check out the awesome breakdown I did. Second round TKO. I think Benny's going to catch him. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But check out the breakdowns to, to understand why I feel that way. Um, next up, another one I got a breakdown on. Peter Yan versus Sean O'Malley. I'm rocking with Yan. 
by third round TKO. You already know. Jan's going to break this dude. I think he's going to out-wrestle him. I think he's going to out-grapple him. I don't think he's going to fight a dumb fight with Sean. I think he's going to mi mix in the striking. But I really do believe, I think Peter Jan's going to bring a big component to this fight. I think he's going to shoot for, uh, die for them legs. I think he's going to shoot. He's going to throw some double legs. I think he's going to get some takedowns. I'm rocking with Peter Jan over Sean O'Malley. Um, and then in the co-main event, another fight I have a breakdown on. Al Jermaine Sterling, actor boy Al Jermaine Sterling versus the CEO of EPO, TJ Dillashaw. Um, I don't rock with cheaters. Rest in hell, TJ Dillashaw. You, you ruined Cody Garbrandt's career, uh, and you got another thing coming because this D3 scrub and Al Jermaine Sterling is going to show you what's up. Um, you've been talking a lot, a lot of mess about Sterling, and when Sterling whoops you, and Sterling ends the era of the TJ, Cody, and Dom Cruz title, like, trio era. It's going to be fuck. It's going to hurt. I think this one's going to hurt TJ more than anything. Because he really is disrespecting Aljamain in the build-up to this fight. Acting as if Aljamain is a nobody. He's a nothing. He's going to lose. And I think people are going to be really surprised about what happens. Um, I'm actually happy that Aljamain is actually fighting TJ when I think about it. Because... If TJ would have lost to Peter, it would have been okay because people know how great Peter he is. But, like, when you lose to Aljamain, and I, I had to go through this with Peter, it's shameful. You know, you have to walk with that. So, and we didn't get finished, though. You're going to get finished. And I think Sterling's going to finish TJ. And I think he's going to end his career. And um, Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. So, yeah. Yeah, am I a little bit of a uh, Cody Garbrandt fan? Yeah, you're right. You're right. But still. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> He's gonna get your ass. And in the main event, Charles Du Bronx Oliveira versus Islam Makachev. Um, also did a breakdown on this. This is out now, so go check that out. It is booming with the views. It's probably it's it's coming up for one of the highest viewed breakdowns that I've done in a minute. Uh, I think the most viewed uh, breakdown or film study breakdown I did was obviously Gilbert Burns versus Kamzat Chemaev. It's weird that the the Dagestani fighters are getting or uh, I shouldn't say Dagestani fighters, uh, the Mountain Boys. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'll call them, Mountain Boys. You know, them Chechnyan and uh, Dagestani fighters get all the views, but hey, I'm not mad at it. Um, so go check that breakdown out. I'm rocking with Charles Oliveira by third round TKO. I just think Charles is going to catch him eventually. And I think Islam's going to fall. Um, I really have nothing to lose. I really have no dog in the race. I just think Charles is a little better. I hate both of their fan bases. And I hope either of them get destroyed in the buildup uh, to this fight. And hey... If fucking Islam wins, I'm going to laugh at all the Charles Oliveira fans. And if fucking Islam loses, I'm going to laugh at Islam. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I made this super quick. I've been doing these super quick. I don't know why, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, that's my predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. And yeah, I'm rocking Charles Oliveira by third round TKO. If I didn't say that before, now I'm saying it. And I'm out of here, man. And this week, we are going so crazy. We are going so crazy this week, y'all. Y'all don't even know. So yeah, love y'all and goodbye.